All right, so we're going to make the lid for this thing. I'm going to go back into this mesh right here and just uh, select these really simply. Shift drag them up, clone to object. All right, and we'll go back to this. We'll reselect those polygons and just do an extrude just a little bit, something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Click OK. I'm going to come in here and delete these polygons that are sitting on the side because we're going to add a symmetry to this. Alright, I'm going to do that. Alright, didn't work, so I just have to hit Y and flip. So we have that. Alright, then I'm going to add a turbo smooth on top of that. Now I like that it's kind of rounded like that, but what I want is a little more um, width on it. So let's go to the top here. I'm just going to pull this like that. Just a little too small. Side edges to be a little bit sharper than that. So what I'm going to do is just select this and hit ring and do a connect towards the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna apply two and pinch those something like that. I'm gonna go like that. Made it a little flatter at the top, but that's okay. What I can do is take this, hit ring and connect. Actually, we just do one right in the middle. Click OK. And I'm just actually going to bring this up just a little bit. And it gives it that kind of like little arc right there. I'm going to center the pivot. Bring it down a little bit. We don't have to get too technical with this whole thing. <clears throat> I don't plan on opening this, nor do I plan on animating it. Um, I'm not even doing the hole on the inside because I don't plan on having a shot of showing the inside of the toilet. So if you do, go right ahead, but I'm only going to show what the camera is going to see. So that's all I'm modeling. Alright. And now, basically, I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide this right there and using that same mesh as before I'm just going to ring select these this time control click that it's a lot quicker that way I'm going to shift drag up another copy click OK and select that and then what I'm going to do is kinda of like just bridge this across bridge that across like so and then select my border here and just cap it off I'll edit borders and hit cap and then in my vertex mode or actually my edge mode I'm just going to select these do a ring select and it doesn't want to for some reason so what I'll do is just cut it all the way straight like so and this one's not connected or something so let me select see how many vertices I have here two vertices right there so I'm going to weld those together and then I should be able to cut across now and it's not letting me so I'm going to delete this whole thing right there and I'm going to take these two and I'm just going to shift drag them out this way. I'm going to get my top view so I can see what I'm doing. Kind of get it lined up with that. And I'm going to target weld this one to that. 
and this one to that one. And then I'm just going to straighten this out like so. Alright, if I apply a symmetry to this, Y flip, we have that now. This is going to form our lid. On the back side, I guess I can just leave it rounded like that, or I could flatten it. I think I'm going to just leave it round. I'll go back to my polygon mode. I'm just going to select element and then control click the polygon so it just converts that to polygons. I'm going to extrude this up. Again, not that high. Something about right there, maybe. For some reason, it's all messing up on the front end. But that's okay. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to take all of this right here and delete that. Click on symmetry there. Then I'm going to click on this and add another symmetry modifier to that and do a flip there so it's the same as the front and the back. Then I can just adjust these vertices a little bit. Oops. Go back and show end result here. And I can just come in here and grab these vertices so that they line up and I'll actually just kind of straighten them out like so. Like that. And that should do the trick for us. Okay, we have that. Click this and convert it to an editable poly. I'm going to add a turbo smooth on that. It's nice and rounded. What I want to do is add that at the bottom mostly. So I'm going to go into my edge mode, click ring, and do a connect. But I'm only going to do one and add the bottom. So I'm going to slide it towards the bottom here. Click OK. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all of these polygons that are on top here and just drag them up a little bit, like so. And then I'm going to take these edges right through here and bring those up some. Because I want to create like this soft bowl look. I'm going to center my pivot and just bring that up a little. Unhide all so that I'm showing that piece underneath it. And close that down on it. Hit F4. We have something that looks like a toilet now. Alright, so let's add this little silver thing that's on top of here. I'm just going to do that by adding a sphere. Just put it like that. Bring that up. I kind of like this back um, thing right here. I guess that's where all the plumbing parts are. Kind of looks like a backrest. So you can kind of sit there and do your business and lean back and enjoy your time on the toilet. Because that's what we like. We like to relax while we're sitting there. Kinda think about the day. Fun stuff. All right, delete the bottom here, and just bring that in like so. Hit F4 so I can see my edges. Hit Z to zoom in on that. I'll bring it up a little bit. Select this bottom border and shift drag down just a little bit, and then one more time. Give it a gray material and a turbo smooth on that. And there we go, F4, and we have this little silver dollar that we sat up there before we started doing our business. Alright, we got that. And the handle seems a bit odd. I'm not really sure what that's all about. You know, there's not really a handle anywhere, so that might be it up at the top for all I know. Like this little side piece right here, I don't know what that is, but why not just add it for looks anyway? So 
in the front view, I'm just going to add a little cylinder right here. Give it some width, some length or whatever, and bring it out to here. Zoom in on it. Take the height down because we don't really need that much. Take all these segments off of it. We'll take it down to 8. We can even take it down to 6 if we want to, but we'll do 8. Uh, right click convert to editable poly. Alright, try to find it. Just bring it out like so. Give it a gray material. And F4 so I can see my edges here. I'm actually just going to connect these up right there. And then cut this to this. Like that. Just making it quadrilar. Quadrilar. That's a new word today. Hit Z so I can zoom in on that. And then, oops, slide that up. If I can click on it, right? Slide that there. And then I'm going to delete this back right here. Delete that. Okay, and then I'm just going to just bring it in here like so. Add a turbo smooth to that. And there we have that, F4. So that's our toilet. Now we could get technical here and, you know, put little, um, like select these two and bring them up a little bit. And that's what we'll do. We're going to borrow this little thing. This little guy right here. Shift drag it over, click OK. And I'm just going to rotate him. Uh, make sure I put on my angle snap, so I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees, like so. And then I'm going to bring him over into the area like this. Yeah. We don't even need a turbo smooth. We'll just destroy that. He should be one smooth all the way around. I'm going to delete this top part. F4 so I can see what I'm doing. Just delete that. Don't need it. Don't really need these extra control click in that. Just getting rid of any polys we really don't need. And you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just adding this to give it that look in case we have a close up render to where it's, you know, sitting down on that like so. So let me click that. I'm going to add a few around here. Add one there. We'll say one here. Click OK. I'll come back in here and control click that. Well, try to, but it didn't work. So I'll just uh, shift drag this over here. Click OK. And then to make sure it's still even, I'll click and drag this over here. Shift drag. Now we have that. And F4, now it kind of looks like we have a little more detail in there. And that's our toilet. So before I end it, I'm going to delete this Turbo Smooth, and I'm going to right click and convert that to an editable poly so it collapses the symmetry. I'm going to select this bottom border here and just shift drag in just a little bit, like so so that we actually have some kind of bottom to it. Now you won't see this in the render at all, but um, I just wanted to add that to give it like a smoother uh, bottom like that. If you turn that up to two, that's what you get, something nicer. Makes it look like there is a bottom on it. So I'm going to take the iterations down to zero, turn the render iterations up to two, and I'm going to do that for everything in here. little thing right here. And up to two like that. And I think I even did it for this guy right here. And that guy right there, which can only be one. So we do that. All right. And that's that. So I'm going to group the whole thing and call it toilet. And 
we'll rename it all and everything uh, later on before the bathroom's completely done. So now I'm going to move on towards the shower area. So I'll see you there.